you know, I'm not a fan of the fact that I can't see over the front of this. Like, I could really just run up to a cannibal and just go boop. Hey, how you doing? Are they cannibals? Am I making an assumption about the indigenous folk of this island? I'm sorry if I am. To be fair, you know, they didn't attack me first. I uh, kind of attacked them for no reason. I guess they did kind of like yell at me. So, you know, that could be a reason. So if this works, which, oh, I hope it does. I can use this to go, ooh. Awesome. And then, check this out. If this works, <gasps> yes. Who needs a bridge when you got a zip line? Now I just have to remember which one goes where. Oh shit. You can't push the thing across the... Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I... Let me test something. Even this would be a pain. Oh! What? Well, wait a second. Oh, yes. I don't need no bridge when I can just do that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I am so happy. I am. I'm smiling so much because it means ah, uh, I don't have to do things. OK. Well, with that, I can start building a house and, like, stuff over there. Absolutely fantastic. Let's see our new home. You know, this might be, like, a little bit of a cop-out, because, like, they can't reach me here, right? So, I'm safe. Completely safe. These are such bad words to be saying. What if they can use zip lines? Oh, no. Well, we're gonna find out. Log cat. 82 what's it look like okay here's what we're gonna do first structure this is just gonna kind of be like the welcome we're gonna build a whole facility here this is the welcome center 82 logs is so many logs <laughs> oh my god okay oh we're gonna be here for so long 89 oh my god fire let's make a fire for now we just need a little a little forward operating base, you know? Let's do another little fire pit. Bam. Cover it with all the things. Needs more rocks. Luckily, we got rocks. Awesome. We have fire. Uh do do do. We have a shelter over there. We'll keep using that area for now. I don't wanna have to build a whole new shelter just because I will have to say I'm gonna start getting real motion sick. <laughs> That is the one problem with the zip line. Do I need to eat? Oh. Oh. Let's make food. You know, I never had a lizard. I've had frog. Frog is pretty good. Well, some parts of the frog are good. I've always been partial to frog legs. They're really crunchy. Like, basically potato chips. They're so good. The frog body, I, uh, I didn't like so much. Is that... Has this meat spoiled? Ah, we can cook the mold right off of it. What was I saying? The body of the frog is like really uh spongy and like rubbery maybe that was just my experience you know as a kid you know you have a very uh underdeveloped palate so you don't really want to try new things oh you can carry all kinds of stuff in here can i do that analogs that'd be cool i don't know if i can oh no well if i wanted some uh some cooked food I'm so sorry. <gasps> to be fair, he kind of, you know, that wasn't on me. He did it to himself. What was I talking about? Frogs? Frogs. They're pretty good. The legs, real good. Body, when I had it, I think it was kind of spongy and like squishy. It had a little too much give, but also I think it still tasted pretty good. I don't know. People seem to say everything tastes like chicken. And the truth is it doesn't taste like chicken. It tastes like what it is. 
I've had snake. It doesn't taste like chicken. It tastes like, well, every time I've had snake, it's tasted like that, so it tastes like snake. But I guess that's where, you know, context of experience matters. If you've never tasted snake, then I guess chicken is your closest uh, point of reference. Also, it might just be a lie that people tell each other to uh, try to trick their friends into eating interesting food. There's a few things that we all universally like to do, and eating is one of them. So, in life, I say culinary exploration is very good. So, when you go through life, experience new flavors. I kind of don't like that in this game, every tree is four logs, no matter the size of the tree, it seems. Okay, you know what, as I say that, this one looks like it was five logs, so I'm just an idiot. Instantly proven imbecilic. I'm really not looking forward to going down those caves. Could we just not? Is it totally essential that we do that? I have a feeling you know the answer. Ah! Okay, don't do it too fast, or they run into each other. Nice. Look at this pile. I'm kind of worried that I'm going to get to like 88 logs and then accidentally hit the trigger instead of the grip and uh, delete the whole building. I live in perpetual fear. Now you decide if those two statements were related. Would you like a log? Would you? 74 more. Oh, <laughs> okay, there's my hand. Now if I remember right, the more trees you chop down, the more pissed off the uh, cannibals get because they are environmentally conscious. I'm just the monster that uh, invaded their island. Who knows, I might bring some outside diseases that they don't have any immunity for, and next thing you know, that thing is gone. I'm an idiot. See, if I do that to my house, if I hit the trigger instead of the grip, that's it. I'll, I'll be done. I love that this feature exists. Someone did a good job there. Five days. Would you look at that? Would you? Would you? Would you? Oh, I'm going insane. Ah! Just a door in my house creaking. Nothing to be concerned about. Or, you know, someone sneaking up to murder me. If someone's sneaking up to murder me, uh, I don't really have anything good to say. Don't? Maybe? Please? If you could not? I should probably not let them stack up too high on that side either, because I am a little concerned that the same thing that happened in that log that just went into, you know, infinity could happen here. The simple way I would think to prevent someone from accidentally press the wrong button is make it a double button press. Like, if I hold down two triggers for five seconds, there it goes. Oh, we're like a third of the way there. You know, I really got a hankering for a deep dish pizza right now. When I was in Chicago, I went to this place near the hotel. That was my first experience of deep dish pizza. It was so good. Oh, I think I found the sweet spot for this. If you point it up at that, like, nub over there, the, the bundle of rope where it all Kind of comes together it's almost a guaranteed success on the activation well that log's just gone okay i was able to get it some are going in the ocean that's not good oh it does give me an idea but i don't think it'll work but if there were some way to uh float the logs over there like make a river that's how they used to do it in olden times right i think that's how mills used to move logs Downriver could be just talking out of my ass right now Which would be quite the trick kind of like the uh burping the alphabet trick, which I never understood that where'd that come from? The early 2000s were weird man, you know with my my encounters the mutants have you know I'm not gonna say this because this is gonna jinx me and I'm gonna get jumped on Immediately upon saying this statement. And I'm not not an idiot. I'm not superstitious even though what I just said is indicative of being superstitious. It's just the truth. If I say it, bam, there they are. Peggy and Gilfoyle and Andrew, that's their names. I don't know why I've named them. Oh, we're getting there. We are fast approaching. I didn't think this would actually happen. I thought this would take a lot longer. Look at that. We only need 14 more. Whoa, very nice. We are very nearing the completion of our cabin however i do have to go so that'll have to be 
in the next episode and then maybe we'll decorate it put some curtains up nice chairs a table maybe a deck an awning i'll build a big palace over there even though my building skills are terrible so unless they just have a big palace that i can build it's never happening and i wish i could plant trees over there look at the sky why is it yellow like that i don't think i've ever seen the sky that color i will see you all in the next episode i hope you have a fantastic day and i hope something fortunate happens i hope you like hanging around youtube you know and you see a video that makes you smile maybe this video made you smile if so awesome if not i'm sorry i guess but hopefully in the suggested or in another one there's one that makes you smile and then i'll be happy because you're happy you're happy